wasn't quite sold on the idea of Dragon Quest Tact when I first heard about it. The whole premise of collecting monsters from the series to battle them just didn't really interest me. However, after playing an early version of the game, I can see that boiling it down to only that does it a disservice. Instead, Dragon Quest Tact attempts to shape a fully realized Dragon Quest adventure with some non-traditional systems that make for a pretty cool strategy RPG. Dragon Quest Tact begins with about as much exposition as you would expect any mobile game to have. You assume the role of some type of hero who can tame monsters with a special wand. This is a rare event, but no one really puts too much attention to it after a while. After the first few missions, you catch wind of an antagonist who is corrupting the monsters worldwide to do bad things. Alongside attempting to help the monster race and figure out the cause of the calamity, you will make your way through the world and compete in tournaments. I saw these tournaments as more side events because they seem to buffer between the next story mission. The game attempts to explain that there's a reason for these tournaments, but honestly, in the big scheme of things, they're just a way for you to show off your monster crew. Dragon Quest Tact is good at keeping you grounded with a clear idea of what you're supposed to do next. Nothing is overwhelming within the game, and the UI is exceptionally straightforward even for a casual mobile player like myself. This means that I was able to focus more on customizing my team and progressing the narrative. Monsters would join your party through normal play, but you can also do a gotcha pull for some rare beasts. One thing of interest is that even the weaker monsters can hold their own in battle, and there are several in-game options to level them up and awaken new skills. The battle system is also something new for Dragon Quest series as it borrows a tactical grid map. Each monster can be moved a few steps as they inch closer towards enemies to launch an attack. Each monster has a few abilities at their disposal, but some skill is needed to get through the tougher encounters. Forming a balanced party will make things easier, especially if you have a good healer and attacker. I ended up really liking the battles for their engagement and strategy. Still, you can put in an auto mode and hope for the best. I found this to be okay for the most part, as you can adjust the settings for what the characters do, but sometimes the AI does some weird things, and I couldn't ever get my monsters to pick up the chests on the field automatically, so that's something to keep in mind. Maps have some obstacles, but for the most part they closely resemble each other save for the theme. Each mission has some optional objectives, which can earn you more points after the battle. Progress also levels up your party members and provides materials that can strengthen your team. Dragon Quest Tact has a solid game loop of catching monsters and fighting through missions. The adventure is very much as charming as any Dragon Quest title without the epic plotlines saved for the numbered entries. I'm hoping this battle system is enough to still be fun after more than 5 hours, but as of now I'm enjoying its simplicity and witty narrative. Please look out for Dragon Quest Tact coming west to iOS and Android soon. Thank you for watching. Please read the full preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.